Cortisol is not a self-destruct hormone the way most people involved in the strength training see it. Uh, ever since I, I've been studying strength training, hypertrophy and stuff like that, cortisol has always been uh, depicted as the enemy. It, the enemy because it eats away your muscle, bro. It's a catabolic hormone. If you have cortisol, it will, get, it will kill your gains, which is not totally untrue. However, it's not that black and white. A cortisol it, it actually serves many purposes that are required for us to train hard enough to stimulate the gains we want. It, well, it's often called a stress hormone. In reality, I prefer to call it the readiness hormone because its main function is to make sure that your body is ready to be able to face any potential danger. You're ready to fight a saber-toothed tiger. You may be ready to run away from it if you can't beat it. Anything, your body will have the tools to deal with it. It means having the energy available. It means having the mental focus and awareness to be able to fight or, 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 or run away. So all of these things are stimulated by the actions of cortisol. 